that was a lot of turmoil in the country. And Centennial was in the midst of it. Not only that, but it was the Vietnam War. I interviewed Mr. Alvin Griggs, former Edison Middle School principal and Centennial High School vice principal, because I was curious about education in Champaign. During the interview, Mr. Griggs mentioned race riots that happened at Centennial High School in 1971. They really didn't want the, uh, the black kids at in Centennial. And so that was an effort to push them out. We knew the riots were going to happen ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And the administration called the police department and asked them to have security there. And they refused to come and provide security. Except for one uh, officer sat across the street and he wasn't allowed to do that. But he did. He asked for backup and they told the other officers to take the Savoy route to Centennial. That means go the long way. And they did. The saddest thing, they met them with axe handles. And when the black kids got off the bus, the white kids didn't have enough guts to use the axe handle. And the black kids didn't know what was going on. And all of a sudden the light came on and said, hey, they're coming after us. And they were friends. Half of them, they were on the track team, played basketball mm -hmm. together. So they went out and took the axe handles. What the kids did when they with those sticks with the axe handles, they went down to the building and broke the windows, the showcases. And, I mean, they were upset and mad. So instead of taking the axe handles to other students, they took the axe handles to the school hmm. and then went in the cafeteria, kind of so. circled the wagons to protect themselves. I had a driver's education class and I was with my students. So we got in the driver's education car. I didn't know exactly what was going on. They didn't tell us. So I got in the driver's education car and started my class. And we completed the class. When we got back to the school, that's when we found out they were having trouble. So I secured the students, got them to the next class. And then I got involved with the activities. Uh, they had the kids in the cafeteria, and I met with uh, some of the administrators and uh, some of the students, and we kind of cooled them down and calmed them down. Uh, and then after that, they wanted to go home, so there was some debate on the administrators whether they would allow them to go home, and uh, they were too upset to stay at school, so. Um, they were allowed to go home. They called the buses back. I was assigned to the community. My job was to go after class, after I finished teaching, to go out in the community to meet with the community people. And I did that for a year or so. And after I did that, they asked me to move upstairs. I turned them down three or four times. I was enjoying myself. I was a track coach cross-country coach, and I really loved my job, and I had fun. They put me in the cafeteria, too, and they had off-duty police officers in the cafeteria, and it, it didn't work. It didn't work, and so they put uh, coaches in there, and they put, uh, and I keep saying Nicole Storch, she was on the school board, and she passed away a year or two ago, and she retired as a dean at Centennial. We started out together. She was teaching history. And then the two of us ended up in the cafeteria, just the two of us. And that's what we did. We kept order. <laughs> we kept order for 15 years. With the help of Miss Storch, the dean of students, Mr. Griggs tried to keep the peace at Centennial High School. I would like to thank Mr. Griggs for sharing this story about the race riots at Centennial.